Welcome back to Pilates with Miti. Whenever you're ready to get started, unroll your mat and enjoy the class. Hello guys, welcome to my class. I have prepared for you today a morning routine that it's lovely to be made in the morning to wake up gently the body before starting the day. So from here, whenever you're ready, why don't we drop the pelvis to the side. We're going to bring one leg to the front and the other one is just tucked underneath. I know it feels a little bit unbalanced and asymmetrical, but this is perfectly normal. Now from here, we're going to open gently the arms to the side. We want to take a nice deep breath in to start at first, moving to the side of the leg that is rotated inside. Breathing out, we are going to come back to the center. Breathing in, we change side, lengthening the spine. And breathing out, we want to come back. Just a few more times to start awakening the spine. Lengthening all the side of our rib cage. Breathing in, lengthening up. Exhaling, finding our center. Keep on going like that. Breathing in. And then out. This should feel actually quite nice, quite pleasant to warm up the body and getting it ready for the day. Breathing in and then out. Now from here, breathing in, we still want to lengthen the spine, bending to the side. Breathing out, I'm going to ask you to rotate towards the side, matching the elbows on the floor. Taking a nice deep breath in, guys, we're going to stretch and lengthen the spine forward, dropping the shoulders down. And breathing out, we find the floor with the elbows to then rotate again to the side. And breathing out, let's find the center. Here we go again, breathing in, up and over. Breathing out, we're going to find the center with our elbows. Breathing in, we want to lengthen the spine really long. Exhaling, we want to find the ground. Breathing in, we want to bend to the side. Exhaling, let's find our center. And again, up and over. And then down. Breathing in, we want to lengthen the spine, dropping the shoulders down, keeping the core strong. And we're going to find the center down with the elbows. We want to bend to the side. And carefully, let's find the center. Here we go for the last one. Breathing in and then out. From here, breathing in, we're going to still lengthen the spine. Breathing out, we're going to bend the elbows down. Let's repeat, breathing in, we're going to stretch the elbows up for a moment, exhaling, we want to find the ground down, and three more. Breathing out, we want to go down on the floor, and last two, really paying attention to lengthening the spine while dropping the shoulders down, and this is the last one, breathing in, we're going to lengthen the back, exhaling, we want to and from here, let's find again the side of our body to then gently come back up towards the center. Nice, guys. Let's close the back leg in the front on top of the other one. We match the hands down on the side and we quickly move on all fours. Now from here, I simply want to take a nice deep breath in, dropping my belly down and I'm going to start maybe from the right to the left side by drawing nice lovely circles with the back. And we want to go right, up, left and dropping the belly down again. Just a few more times. Starting to wake up gently back, moving it around in a nice big circle. And then whenever you're ready, why don't we try to change the direction of our circle. So for example, we go left, up and right and dropping down. And again, left, up, right and dropping down. Really nice and slow. And a few more times, guys. Just keep on going in the same direction. 
then this is going to be our last circle so we want to draw a nice lovely circle for the last time we're going to find the center of our O force position. Now from here, one arm is going to slide to the front, the other one is going to slide to the back. And why don't we rest our head down just for a moment, lengthening the spine, stretching all the side of the ribcage, taking a few deep breaths. And from here, very slowly, why don't we carefully come back towards our center and we're going to unroll the spine to sit on the heels for a moment. Now from here, I'm going to go back towards the center of my mat, but this time I'm going to change the crossing of my leg. So now the other leg is in the front and the opposite leg is just tucked underneath us. You can also use the mat, the line of your mat as a reference for your front leg. Now from here guys, let's repeat on the other side. So we want to stand nice and tall. We take a nice deep breath in at first, lengthening the spine, bending towards the side of the leg that is rotated inside. Breathing out, we find our center to then repeat on the other side. And breathing out, we want to find our center again. Take a nice deep breath in. And a nice deep breath out. This should feel very nice to start our day. And breathing out, we want to find the center. Keep on lengthening up and over before bending to the side to really make space between each vertebrae of your back. Nice, and breathing in. And out. Now from here, breathing in, we still want to go up and over, breathing out this time, we rotate, matching the elbows down on the ground. Take a nice deep breath in, stretching the elbows, lengthening the spine, breathing out, we want to find the ground. Breathing in, we rotate to the side, pushing down a little bit more the resting hip and breathing out, we want to come back to the center. Let's repeat, breathing in, up and over. Breathing out, we want to match the elbows down. Breathing in, we want to lengthen even more. Exhaling, we want to find this uh, center. And now breathing in, we want to rotate, really pushing down gently the hip. And from here, we want to find our center again. Two left, breathing in. And out. Breathing in, stretch the elbow, lengthening the spine, shoulders down, and we want to find the flow with the elbows. Breathing in, rotate, and exhaling, we want to come back up. Let's go for the last. Breathing in, and out. This time when you're breathing in, we're still going to stretch the elbows. Breathing out, we find the ground. Just a few more. Breathing in. Stretching the elbows, lengthening forward, dropping the shoulders down, exhaling, we go down. Really imagining to make space between each vertebrae of our back, lengthening it forward. And two more. This is going to be our last breathing in. Now from here, why don't we rotate again to the side, stretch, breathing out, we come back. Good. Now close the back leg on top of the other one. We position the hands on the side to quickly rotate on all fours. Now from here, we're going to rotate inside one hand and then the other one as well. Let's take a nice deep breath in, guys. Arching the spine, looking up to the ceiling. Breathing out, we're going to round the back. Breathing in, we're going to arch very gently. And breathing out, we're going to round. 
just a few more we should feel a nice stretch in our arms in our wrists and breathing and arching very carefully and then rounding feeling the skin of the back that is stretching with us and going to be our last one breathing in we are going to arch breathing out we're going to round nice let's come back towards our center we can release the position of the, our hands and now from here one hand is sliding to the front the other one is sliding carefully to the back and we can rest our head to the side just for a moment from here why don't we simply come back towards our center and with the next exhale we can unroll the back on a sitting position on the heels now from here why don't we flex both feet in the back and we're going to walk backwards for a moment stretching the Achilles tendons we want to stay here in this position just for a little longer really stretching all the back of the feet and we almost want to try to position those heels down just a little longer guys keep on breathing stretch all the back of your feet of your ankles your calves and from here why don't we try to stretch the legs just a little bit more you can stretch them completely or if that's too painful you can also bend gently the knees down after you just feel the heaviness of your head now from here taking a nice breath in we're going to lengthen the spine forward still touching the floor maybe with the fingertips and dropping the shoulders down breathing out we can let go and again breathing in lengthening forward breathing out we can gently release down as I said, you can keep your knees bent or if that's not painful, you can also stretch them fully. Up to you. Just try to listen to your body. And twice more. Breathing in, lengthening forward. Breathing out, gently releasing down on the floor. This is going to be our last one. Breathing in, lengthen the spine forward breathing out we want to gently let go now from here guys why don't we bend the right leg at first and from here we rotate the spine towards the left side opening to the side taking a few deep breaths We're going to gently let go of the position, then switch legs. So we're going to bend the left leg, stretching the right one and rotating towards the right side, taking a few deep breaths here as well. Here, very carefully let's come back towards the center we're going to now walk with our hands just a couple of steps forward and we're going to find a nice downward facing dog position keep your shoulders down lengthening the spine 
we're going to stretch all the back of our legs. Maybe from here we can cross the right leg on top of the left one, more or less at the level of our ankles. And we can gently come back towards the center and maybe change the crossing. So now the left leg wants to overcross the right one. Keep on breathing releasing the shoulders down and from here why don't we come back towards our center and why don't we take a nice big step forward with one leg and we can rest our pelvis down on the floor and we can lengthen the spine up Now from here guys, taking a nice deep breath in, why don't we gently go down with our torso, breathing out, we're going to roll up the spine, let's repeat, breathing in, we're going down with a long and beautiful straight spine, breathing out, we're going to roll up very gently, let's repeat, breathing in, and breathing out. Creating a beautiful wave when we're coming up. And again, twice more. Here we go, ready for the last. nice from here why don't we gently approach the front and we can rest maybe our face down just for a moment taking a few deep breaths Carefully, we're going to come back up again. I'm going to ask you now to bend the back leg. Now from here we can position the hands in the back. We're going to gently rotate, still sitting on the hips. And we change side. And we are going to gently open and rotate to the other side. Just a few more times, you can really help yourself touching the floor with your hands in the back just a few more times still trying to keep your pelvis down on the floor we just simply want to warm up those hips get them ready for the day maybe we have a bit of tension there and we simply want to mobilize them and changing side still with your feet on the ground and your pelvis touching the floor. Nice. Ready for the last change. Good. Now from here, we change for the very last time. So why don't we stretch the back leg? And here we go again. We want to open the chest for a moment. We can repeat the waving exercise. So why don't we take a nice deep breath in? We're going to come up, creating a beautiful long wave with the spine. And again, breathing in, we want to lengthen forward. Breathing out, we're going to come up with the chest. And just a few more times, lowering your torso down. And breathing out, rolling up. The head is the last thing to unroll. And let's repeat, we go down and gently we roll up twice more ready for the last one breathing in forward exhaling rolling up now from here why don't we gently walk down all the way and we can rest our head down taking a few deep breaths here
And now very carefully let's roll up. We come up with the chest and the torso. And from here, why don't we simply rotate back to the center. Now from this position, why don't we take the leg that was extra rotated, we position it on top and crossed on the opposite leg. And we take a little break here, stretching the spine in a nice lovely torsion. Lengthening your spine up to the ceiling. And whenever you're ready, let's come back with the chest and the torso. The leg that is crossed can drop down, relaxing on the side. And we can slowly approach the front foot. Maybe if that's not too painful, you can even grab your toes and just release down the back. Taking a few deep breaths in and then out and again making sure that each time you're breathing out your back is relaxing even more on your leg Here, why don't we gently start to unroll the back nice we're going to open the other leg now and we change the crossing so why don't we take the other leg we cross it right on top of the other leg and we want to take a nice lovely torsion looking at the back still growing up with the spine from here we will come back with our chest and we are going to let go of the knee and then gently walking all the way down we can try to reach maybe for the toes if that's too painful you can also stay up maybe on your knee on your calf or maybe on your ankle up to you just try to keep on breathe naturally And let's take one last deep breath in and a nice deep breath out and carefully we can unroll the spine now from here I'm going to simply ask you to collect both of your legs in a crossing position and now from here why don't we rest the hands just for a moment on the knees and we're going to let go of the head to one side Taking a few deep breaths. If you want an extra stretch, maybe you can even collect your hand on top of the head and gently push it down. Keep on breathing. And now from here, why don't we grab the back of the head and we're going to tilt it into the direction of the diagonal, dropping the chin down. And gently let's come back towards our center and we're going to repeat on the other side. We're going to drop the head to the side, like if the ear is pulling us back to the side. And maybe you want an extra stretch so you can also 
push down with the arm try to still lengthen your spine the whole time and whenever you're ready we can collect the hand in the back of the head and drop the chin down to stretch into the diagonal going to come back up to finish the class nice guys thank you so much for your attention i really hope i left you energized and relaxed for the rest of your day see you in my next class